Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Just Breaks here again, back with another unboxing video for you today. Just got another submission back from SGC of 2023 Top Series 1. And we're gonna break into this box and see what kind of grades we got this time around. Now this one's a little bit bigger of a box this time um, than, 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 than the last couple times around. Uh, so, oh, this is this was weird. <laughs> it doesn't have the box inside of a box. It's just, oh, did I knock something over here? But yeah, it doesn't have the box inside of a box. It's it's just wrapped in bubble wrap like this with a little SGC tab on top. So let's break into this real quick. Um, this one, I actually have a, a, a couple autos um, I know in this submission. Uh, actually, a couple big autos as well. So definitely stay tuned to the end so you guys can see the autos that I got. Because you know we got to sweat the autos to the end. But uh, I think there's like maybe like 15 cards or something like that in this submission. Um, something like that. I, I forget. But we'll get into it right now. Oh, here we go. Man, I just, I love opening these things. <laughs> I just love getting these things back. They're so sweet. <laughs> oh, and we got an auto right here on top. So we got to put that down to the bottom. Wait for the end for that. But I, I got, like I said, there's there's at least, a, 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 I think there might have been three autos in this one, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Something like that. Let me get these situated here. Okay. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, let's see what we got. And like I said, like, like if you guys have seen my videos before, I always go into these blind. I don't look at them. The, the grades before I get them. I just like to be surprised, just like I'm sure you guys do as well. Uh, so first one here is gonna be, oh yes, 10 baby, Gem Mint 10 on the 2023 Von Grisham Chrome 88 Tops design. Man, what a great looking card. I love the Mojo designs. And man, it, I knew this card when I saw it. The centering was absolutely phenomenal. So I had to send it in to get it graded. Even though sometimes these mojos can be really tough to grade, man. I got a gem mint tin on that bad boy. So that's a, that's a sweet card, man. I'm hyped. Hyped on that one. All right, second one here. Yes, another gem mint tin, baby. Let's go. Gem mint tin 2023 Bobby Witt Stars of the MLB. I absolutely love the Stars of the MLB. This uh, Like, we, we all know they're not the most rare cards. They're in every retail pack. Um, but the design this year, this go around is so much better than last year. Um, really like it. And so I really wanted to have the whole run of all the, 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 the rookies and second year guys in a gem mint 10. So I'm stoked to get that one into the collection. All right, next one. Oh yes, here we go, baby. Adley Richman, gem mint 10 on the stars of the MLB rookie logo, baby. Let's Go! That's what I'm talking about. I love it. Love it. Look at, I mean, just look at the shine on these cards. They're, they're sweet. Sweet insert. Absolutely love it. And with that tuxedo frame too, the black, it just pops. Really, really looks good. Next one. Oh, the nine on the first edition. Uh, tops uh, 2023 Mike Trout. Got a nine. Can't be mad at a nine. I, I Like I always say, anything above a nine, I'm good. I am not mad at a nine. That's a sweet score. I, I could see the centering was off a little bit. If you guys can see that it's definitely a little heavy on the left. So I wasn't expecting a perfect um, a, a perfect score, or like a gem mint 10. I was hoping for maybe a nine five, um, but it was a first edition one that I ripped and, and I wanted to get it graded because it was the only trout that I pulled out of there. So got it graded. Oh, here we go. Yes, baby. The first edition Shohei Otani Gem Mint 10. Man, the 10s just keep coming. Let's go. And you know, I already have uh, this base card in a Gem Mint 10, but this is the first edition again. Uh, so I had to get that graded and I'm hyped that it came back as a Gem Mint 10. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Another Gem Mint 10, man. I'm telling you, these cards just keep coming back. Gem Mint 10s. And that one's a Brandon Marsh, uh, Future Stars, second year with the first edition uh, on there, as you can see. Uh, Gem Mint 10. When I saw this card, I could see the centering was absolutely perfect. So I had to send it in to get graded and hyped it got a 10. 
Oh, so close. So close, 0.5 off of the Gem Mint 10, but it got a 9.5 on the Adley Rutschman Rookie Card, Rookie Cup, First Edition. Let's go. We already know that's a sweet card. Oh, here we go. Paven Smith. Now, I'm a Diamondbacks fan, uh, so that's why I got this card graded. Not only that, but I could see the centering on this thing was just phenomenal. Uh, so even though the foils are really hard to grade, I literally have not gotten a 10 back of a foil card, I don't think yet. I, no, I don't think I have. I think this is the first 10 I've actually gotten back in a foil card, and it's a foil green uh, first edition Paven Smith sliding sliding baby like that's that's a sweet looking card and i love paving smith man awesome awesome ball player all right nine five on alex cobb orange foil numbered to 75 a uh, color match you know with the giants that's really honestly why i sent this one to get get graded i didn't pull very many colors out of the first edition um so the fact that this was a color match and it's Alex Cobb. I was like, you know what? Let's send it in, get it graded, and see. I thought the centering was really good on this card. It must have been some sort of edge issue, it looks. Maybe a little bit of whiting on the edge right there. I mean, I'm not too sure. But it still 9-5 on the, the color match, uh, numbered to 75. Sweet. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Just off on the All right. 9-5 on the Marcus Wilson. Uh, first edition, orange foil. Numbered to 75. Is it numbered to 75? Yeah, numbered to 75. This is first on the print. First edition, numbered to 75. I think it's first on the print. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, so it's first on the print, numbered to 75. Sweet looking card. I, I love the foils. Love the luck. Oh, Clayton Kershaw, Gem Mint 10 on the red foil, numbered to 50. I mean, Kershaw's a beast, man. Can't knock it. Absolute beast of a pitcher, man. I think he's going to be a future Hall of Famer for sure. So I'm hyped to add the 10 to the collection. Man, the 10s just keep coming. Let's go. We got a Ryan Mountcastle, second year, first edition, red foil, numbered to 50, Gem Mint 10. Back to back Gem Mint 10s on the red foils. Let's go. Go, let's keep these tins coming. Let's keep them coming. All right, now this is the big ones, guys. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for the autos. Let's see what we got. Let's see what let's hope for some really good grades. Here we go. First one. Oh, yeah. 10 10 on the Shea Langoliers. Let's go. Rookie auto. It's a sticker auto, but still, uh, and it's not numbered. This is just the, the base rookie of the baseball stars autograph. Sick card. I, I really think he's a sneaky one. I always like to invest a little bit in some of these guys. I think I bought this card off of eBay for like 12 bucks or 14 bucks. Got it graded for nine. So I'm in it just over $20. And I think the upside potential on this guy is really good. So for a little bit over $20 investment, I think it's a pretty good investment. So hyped it got the 10 10, 10 on the auto, 10 on the card, gem mint 10, baby. Let's go. All right, next one. Oh, yes. Okay, baby, let's go. 10-10 on the Riley Green. This is the Chrome 88 Tops Design, autographed, numbered to 199. Second on the print, Riley Green, baby. Let's go on the mojo with the auto. 10-10, back to back on the auto is 10-10s. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, man, I, I absolutely love Riley Green. I've seen this guy play in person. He is an absolute beast in the outfield, makes a tremendous plays, awesome hitter. I, I, I'm stoked, stoked to add this one to the collection, guys. Wow. All right, and last one, last one here, guys. It's a big one. It's a big one, boys. Let's take a look. Oh, let's keep it coming. Oh, just missed the 10 10 oh we got a 10 on the auto a 9 5 on the card man i thought the centering was absolutely perfect on this card i cannot believe that did not get a 10 10 look at the stars look how it lines up it is it is literally i think you can't get more centered than that card is centered 
Oh man, is there was there like a little ding or something? Oh, maybe just a little corner ding. I don't think oh man, I don't remember seeing a little corner ding. But there's definitely a little corner ding, so that's what did it. Yeah, I don't know where that corner ding came from. I don't remember sending it in with that. But that's a Corbin Carroll Baseball Stars Auto Black number to 199. Oh man, that's a sweet card. And Corbin Carroll, I mean people are starting to realize that this guy this guy has got the juice man he's one of the fastest guys if not the fastest guy in the mlb right now this dude it's amazing to watch him run the bases and i am so stoked and if you guys don't know, already know he doesn't even have a rookie card in this set he only has rookie autos and there's only two versions there's the on card on the 88 tops design on card and then there's this one and it comes in the, you know, uh, I think it's got the numbered to 99, numbered to 50, the non-numbered one, and the one of ones. So, I mean, he only has a few variations of uh, of a rookie auto so far in this set. And so I, I really think the sky is the limit on the value of these cards. I think they're going to be really sought after and people are really going to pay um, in the future for these cards because they're, they're just harder to come by. They're just shorter printed. You know, they're they're not, you don't see them all the time. But man, I tell you what, guys, this was a sweet, sweet submission. Just tens, tens, tens. A couple nine fives, a couple ten, but a couple one nine, but mostly tens. I mean, it was, this was an epic, epic ten fest. Like just tens. Like, I was so hyped on the results of this submission. Oh, yeah, guys, that's right. And I also, I forgot to mention that we actually have until the 30th to get your submissions in for the $9 special. The 30th is when they're cutting it off. So you have up until the 30th to submit your cards for 2023 Top Series 1 to get that $9 special still. So I still have a couple more submissions that I'm going to send in. So I'm going to keep these videos coming as these submissions come back. Uh, so if you guys like it, please subscribe. Hit that like, comment. You know all the good stuff. Bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it. And as always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.